Hey guys, Sirius here from James Sirius AJ, and welcome back to another video. So I'm not going to be doing an update video right now, as you guys may have thought, because me and James are going to do one, and we're going to start recording at around 2.30ish. So this video, we should have at least like three videos up today. So yeah, as you can see, I already got myself a pet tarantula, so that that's all I'm going to reveal about the update. I am not going to click on this, because some of you may not have logged into Animal Gym yet, or I don't know. Like, shout out to the two people who actually watch our videos. They haven't made a Halloween costume yet. Oh my god, I just realized. Ah, much better. So, today, I'm going to be telling you things that you do in Animal Jam that would be weird if you did them in real life. Number one, sending jamograms to random people. Like, just imagine, like, all these letters just in your, like, mailbox whenever you come home. Like, this is just weird. I've never even met these people. Number two, buddying random people that you see. Just imagine going up to someone and saying, Hey, do you want to be friends? Okay! Without even knowing who they actually are. Number three, the jammer wall. Now, we all know that no one uses the jammer wall, but when you do, it's really weird. Like, party where I am at, cool den, lower, or high jammers. Imagine saying party where I am at, like, on Facebook or Twitter. Like, no, no, one, no, no, one, no one knows where you're at, Lucy plays XOX, I'm sorry. Number three, the journey book. Imagine going around, like, your town or whatever and just clicking on random things and then, like, taking pictures of them and then, put, and then like, pasting them in your, like, journey book or whatever. Or, like, a scrapbook. And then getting a prize for it. Who does that? The parties. There is, in real life, there is never a party happening 24-7. Whether it's 1 a.m. or 5 p.m. There is no parties happening all the time. And especially not just in the middle of this random place with this random old-fashioned music player, this spooky cart full of dead items, and then this trunk of items that you can put on your head. Guys, I could get lice from that. All of the games in general, like, these are all really dangerous if you did them, but, like, it's just weird. Like, just going and touching some animals. Well, actually, I've done that before, but, like, being able to, like, play a claw machine wherever you go, like, imagine just, like, plopping down a claw machine wherever you go, or best dressed, just competing in a fashion competition at, like, any given time. Like, that's weird. And buying money for money. Yeah. Logic. Number one, being able to carry around 300 items to put on your animal. And being able to change it whenever you want. And being able to change the patterns of your fur, shape and color of eyes, and shape and color of the pattern on your animal. And being able to have a tiny version of yourself like with you it's just so weird and also how is my tail not being burnt right now that's just weird oh and you can transform into any animal you want with any pattern and any like items on it at any given time it's really weird being able to emote so yes i know that people can like smile and stuff but like how how does one do this emote like in real life how the next one is being able to have so many dens and so many den items Imagine having 500 pieces of furniture in your house, and then having this many houses. It's, it's not okay, guys. It's not okay. Rolling in the mud for fun. If this was real life and you saw someone just playing in the mud with their pet tarantula, I would call 911. Seeing someone with the name out for the krill. That's really weird. I'm gonna go now. Being able to yell things like, please send me jamograms, I'm doing mail time. If this was real life, people would just, like, give you, like, a piece of, like, a raspberry or something. Like, no one's going to just, uh, I just, I just, I just, I just, oh, oh, wait, hang on, I have, I, oh, no, 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 so many, so many YouTubers, fake YouTubers, oh my god. Taking candy that was left out by a random stranger that has shimmers all over it. Don't take candy from strangers, kids. The next one is role-playing. Like, what if, like, you'll say, like, ends wolf. You just killed a man! That's weird! And quite illegal. Sleeping around a statue of your idol, or something. I don't know what it is. To make bad things, spooky gloops, come out. Like, that's a really bad idea. I thought you guys wanted to drive the phantoms away from Jamal, not make them come. Jumping on things to make them break, and then you fall to your death. That's really weird. And the last one is all these pets scattered around your mob. They're just little tiny versions of ourselves just kind of sitting here in like the cold, the hot, the water. Save the animals!